I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to use area model to multiply fractions. The question here is explain the product of following fractions with area model. So we have two examples. The first one is 3 over 4 times 2 over 5 and then we have the second one which is 2 over 3 times 3 over 4. So we have to multiply these fractions will use area model to find their product. So in this video, purpose of having two is that I'll solve one of them and the other one is for you to practice. Let us first understand the method. What is a fraction? So we know fraction is part over whole right so this is first thing we know about fraction so what I will do here is I'll solve part B which is 2 over 3 times 3 over 4 now here we have 2 over 3 that means the whole item has been divided into three parts and we are selecting 2 3 over 4 means out of 4 select 3 so 3 out of 4 so part over whole so that is first part. Now second thing is area. Now area could be represented by rows times columns. Sometimes we also say length times width, right? So that is how we understand what area is. So we'll use both these concepts to find the product. So when you multiply rows and columns, you get product, right? Now in our case, uh, which we are taking this case B, we will say let 2 over 3 represent rows and 3 over 4 represents columns, which are like downwards, right? Represents columns. So that is the whole idea. And now let us see how to actually do it, right? So let us make a rectangle. Now when you sketch a rectangle, in that case, that rectangle should have three rows. So we are saying 2 over 3 represents rows, 3 over 4 as columns. So in this rectangle, we'll have three rows. So let's say this is row 1, row 2, and the third row, correct? So we have three rows. Now, we could have, so this is representing rows for us, correct? Now let's talk about columns four columns so let me divide this into four columns so let's do half so we have two and then further half gives us four columns so we have three rows and four columns so that is the whole thing now that whole thing gives you how many small rectangles one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is what you get when you multiply 3 and 4, right? So, so we get each as 1 12th. Do you see that? So each is 1 12th. 1 out of 12. Each is 1 12th. Remember that part. Anyway, let's continue. When we say that the fraction is 2 out of 3 and 3 rows are there, we need to select two rows. So let me select two rows now. So this is one row and that is the second row. So we have selected two rows. Now three over four means out of four columns, we need to select three. So this is first, this is second, and let's say this is third. So we have selected three columns. What is area in this case? Area is the common of selected portion that is to say this right so here is the one where rows and columns overlap so that is the area how much is it let's count we have selected one two three four five six so that comes in the numerator six out of total of 12 right so we know four times three six out of 12 so that is how you get the product. I hope the concept is clear, right? So here, this part is two out of three, 
selected with this yellow highlighter and then columns is 3 out of 4 and when you multiply you get this area shown in blue which is 6 out of 12. At times you can simplify it. You can divide both by 6 then you get what? You get half, right? So 2 over 3 times 3 over 4 is indeed 6 over 12 which could be written as 1 over 2 as a simpler form of the given fraction. Now half of it, you can think like this. If I remove this block and keep it here and that one move it to this side, then we'll select half of it. It makes sense. Do you see that? I hope the steps are clear to you. Now you can pause the video and find the product of 3 over 4 times 2 over 5 using area model, right? Let me give you the answer. Answer is simple. When you multiply fraction, multiply the numerators. 3 times 2 is 6. And the denominators, 4 times 5 is 20. That is how you normally do it. And then you can simplify. Both can be divided by 2. That gives you 3 out of 10. Correct? Now, I hope you can easily do it. But here is a quick solution without much explanation. So what we do in this case, we make a rectangle with four rows and five columns, right? So, so we'll make a rectangle, four rows and five columns. So let us say this is row number one, okay? Two, three, and four. So four rows and five columns. Let's say one, two, three, four and five. So we get it from the denominator. Now out of four rows select three. One, two and three. Out of five columns select two. So we have two columns selected. What is common? The common portion is shown here in this blue highlighter. Count part selected which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So we get 6 out of whole. How many do we have, right? So we divide it into 4 times 5. So we have 20, right? So we have these small things as 20. So 6 over 20 is our answer. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.